Hello. In this program, I will be showing you how to make a Lone Storm's EV3 robot navigate so its way around your house. What you will need a computer, a Mine Storm's EV robot, and the most important part, an ultrasonic sensor. So, here's the, how the program's done. You go down to red. It's on the very left block called a variable. You drag that up. And it's a right, and you want it a right text variable. Then you name it, add vari click add variable, and variable name. Name it something like turn. There. The variable is called turn. Then in that value spot there, that spot, you write something like left. Well, right left. So it isn't so it's now called left. Then you go down to orange flow control and get a loop. Place the loop next to the variable and then get a switch. And change the, from a touch sensor switch to a text switch. Then you need to get another variable, but this time place it between the beginning of the loop and the beginning of the switch. And then change it from to a read this time a read text then get that little output wire and place it into there then up the top put type in left that is that's now called left from here we type in left up the top and down the bottom in the bottom section of the switch we type in right then we go to flow control get another switch and place it in the top section of your first switch in left. So you change it from touch sensor to ultrasonic sensor. Compare distance centimeters. Change four to five and fifty to forty. Once you've done that you get an action block called move tank and you place that block in the true section of your ultrasonic sensor switch you change it for on for rotations on to on for degrees 75 on the left becomes minus 20 and 75 on the right becomes 20 once you've done that that degree wheel becomes 180 degrees that's how many degrees the large motors turn then you get 
a move steering block. And place it. In to there. Can you change it from on for rotations to on? And 75 becomes 30. Once you've done that, you come down to here and get. A flow control, a flow control switch, and then you put that switch in there. And change it from touch sensor to ultrasonic sensor compare distance centimeters. Like I said earlier, 4 becomes 5, 50 becomes 40. Then you go to Action and Move Tank Block, like we used earlier, and place it in the top section of that switch. On for degree on it becomes on for degrees. That wheel, the degree wheel, becomes what well, stays three hundred and sixty. The right hand seventy five becomes minus twenty. And the left becomes then you get a move steering like we used earlier And on for rotations becomes on 75 becomes 30. One last thing you get a da you go to data operations, get a variable, and put it. After the after that sweep, once you have done that, you change it to you change that variable to a right text, and in there you put left, like we did with the variable before the, or after the sweep. So that is now left. Then we scroll up, get another variable, drag it next to your top ultrasonic switch. Okay, once you have done that, you click, you change the variable to a right text.
text and then that little input becomes right. That is how you do the program. This is the part of the program where I show you how the Mindstorms robot works with this program. It's, it uses the ultrasonic sensor so when it gets near a wall it turns As you can see, it's navigating its way around my house. It started there, went up to the cross there, back here, and over there. Thank you for watching. This has been the film on how to make a robot randomly navigate. It's way around your house. Thank you for watching.